dear viewers welcome to my youtube channel today i shall discuss about a simple overview on tertiary winding of a transformer and its related subjects this subject will be included with what is a tertiary winding why is tertiary transformer used what are the problems with the use of star star transformer what is floating or shifting of neutrals why tertiary winding is needed working principle and additional duties of tertiary winding in delta 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 star and star delta transformers all voltages are balanced and there is no floating of neutral the floating of neutral is developed in the case of star star connection only the transformers are sometimes constructed with three windings the main windings are connected to form star star connection and the third winding known as tertiary winding is used to make a closed delta connection to stabilize the neutrals of both primary and secondary circuits the tertiary also carries the third harmonic current for transmission of power generally star star transformer is used for stepping up or stepping down voltage due to more than one reason in star the transmission line conductors and windings of transformer of each phase are to carry 57.7% of the line voltage as in star phase voltage is equal to line voltage by root 3 so less conductor or copper for winding is required resulting in less copper loss and high efficiency less insulation for both transmission conductors and transformer is required both sides have a neutral point to earth which is a great advantage for relaying protection what are the problems with the use of yy transformer the star star connected transformer works satisfactorily if the load is balanced when an unbalanced load is applied in the star star connected transformer line to neutral voltage becomes unequal occurs neutral shifting when line to earth or line to line fault occur on the primary or secondary winding a considerable unbalance in phase voltage occurs unbalanced loads involves current flow through the secondary neutral the zero sequence impedance of the transformer will produce zero sequence voltage drop when such current flows if there is no path for zero sequence current to flow the generated flux in the core will be non sinusoidal then output voltage will be distorted with harmonics the zero sequence voltage drop will raise the neutral voltage with respect to ground from its normal value of zero what is floating or shifting of neutral in two winding star star connected transformer floating or shifting of neutral problem occurs due to unbalanced loading and single phase to ground fault
let us understand how neutral shifting occurs a load is placed between b phase secondary and neutral now the load is being supplied by b phase primary the primary winding b cannot supply the required power because it is in series with primary winding a and c whose secondary winding is open circuited is to be assumed the primary winding a and c act as a high impedance therefore primary winding b supplies alone a little current from the line therefore secondary winding b cannot supply required power to the load as the load resistance between secondary winding b and the neutral is very low it acts as short circuit and very little current flow through it this is happened due to decrease of secondary voltage vvn and increase of other two phase voltage causes neutral shifting the primary phase voltage vvn reduces to zero whereas primary phase voltage van and vvn increases nearly full primary line voltage this is known as neutral shifting again single line to ground faults can create neutral shift to a very high degree even if the secondary neutral is grounded a high zero sequence impedance of the system or of the transformer can create this neutral shift why tertiary winding is needed in two winding transformer primary winding secondary winding tertiary winding the problem of floating of neutral is eliminated by using additional closed delta tertiary winding the considerable unbalanced in phase voltage is compensated by circulating currents flowing through the closed delta tertiary winding a delta connected stabilizing tertiary winding provides a path for circulation of third harmonics current by electromagnetic induction suppose the transformation ratio of the transformer is 1 is to 1 a load of 1 ampere is connected between secondary y phase and neutral load current of secondary y phase 1 ampere will be equally shared by 1/3 per phase by delta winding flowing through closed delta path load current sharing part of primary y phase that is 2 by 3 ampere will be equal to the sum of the load current part of r and b phase primary that is 1 by 3 ampere each here phase current is equal to line current a delta connected tertiary winding acts as a bridge that converts line to neutral current at the secondary into line to line currents in primary the ratio of current division between primary and tertiary is based on the interwinding impedances in most cases